Hey everyone, how are you? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So the topic for today is intention. So let's talk about what intention means. Uh, talking about, um, about the etymology, I, I think that I wanted to say is how important it is to learn other languages? Because as you have seen all these days, when we speak about um, about etymology, usually we go to um, to the same origin. The, the the words means exactly the same in the origin in in Greek, in Latin, in in the European languages. Wherever we go, they have the same meaning. So it helps us to understand the different meanings and also. Um, a good thing about this is that when when we start to 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 learn these languages we can also understand how languages are not only a thing to communicate is something that designs the way we think that designs the way we feel the cultures our beliefs our way of doing the things the morals, the the um, the ethics of a of of a person. So it's really important to understand that um, that when you learn or you open yourself to to understand a new language, you can also open your brain to new possibilities. Yes, that's a good way to understand also um, why we are using both languages. So as you see, intention and intención come from the same uh, origin, meaning in, tensus, and tio. So intention, the meaning comes from in, that means inside, within, Tensus, that means to uh, extend, to expand something. And tio, that means action. So extension is the action of extend something that is within, inside. Hmm? So that's how we can um, understand this word. So now in our cultures today, when we say I intend to do this, or I set the intention, I manifest the intention of something. What we are usually doing is mistaking intention with hope or the wait for, because we are waiting for something to happen. And kind of we mistake this intention with the hope of something to happen in the future. We say, I manifest intention, like if I set all my energy for that to happen in the future. And this is because of these many centuries bringing this information to us according to the hope of things in a religious way. So now when we spiritually talking, we manifest intention, we mistake that with the preconcept that we have about hope. Hmm? But as you see, intention comes from extend something that is within into the outside. So it's not exactly related with the concept that we have today about what intention is. So for sure, I don't know if everyone was thinking like I was thinking too, but maybe we have this mistaken, this mistaken concept that when we set intention, we are waiting for something outside when it really is trying to tell us that in order to manifest something outside, we have to take what is within into the outside. So that's the word intention, to bring what is within into the outside. Hmm? So when we usually in, put the intention, set the intention on something, and we want to do something new, and we manifest the intention of something, if, for sure, what happens later is that we start to leave the things that we don't want exactly to leave. Because before that thing starts to manifest, we have to take all what is inside into the outside. So what starts to happen is that we start to leave 
a moment that we don't really like, that is a bit weird, in which we start to manifest what we had inside and we didn't want to see. So this brings us to the etymology of the word tensus. Okay. Hmm? What is tensus? Tensus is to extend. So we will have also the word tendon from here. Hmm? So the tendon, something that extends, stretch, that allows the movement. Hmm? This is the word that will give origin to the word tension. Tension. We usually relate the word tension with someone or something that is under tension. So we have a lot of tension in our life or in a situation, a situation is really tense or this kind of things. So, um, so we relate the word tension with being under pressure, with being um, uh, with st staying tense in front of a situation or something like this. So when we leave the negative aspect of the word tension in our cultures today, and we just go to the etymology, we will see that tension means how much something can be extend, expand, hmm? that would be. So now let's see the difference. We have pressure and tension, pressure and tension is the opposite, okay? So pressure is to be compressed and pressure is to extend as much as possible. Hmm? So the concept of why tension is something negative for us is because we used that we used this word to describe a, a situation in which you have to pick in between two opposite options, like two different things that are pushing me, pulling me one to each side, and they kind of are about to break me. So I break down. I break if these two things are pulling me away. Hmm? So as I said, tension is the ability or the capacity of something to extend, to expand. Hmm? So here we have two different concepts. One is the intention, and the other one is the intention. They sound equal. So this one here, intention, is written with T in English. Intention is written with T because it has this etymology inside, the tio, that means action. So this word here is the action, the action of extend something that is inside. Hmm? So this other one here doesn't have the word action. It's not talking about an action itself. It's talking about how, the shape, the form, the way in which something is being done. So we have this one here that is describing the action of extension and this one other here that is describing how it is extending. It's the state in which this thing finds itself. This is speaking about the state of something. This is speaking about the action of something. 
So now, when you have the intention of something, this means that you are willing to do something. It's, it's, it's talking about what are you going to do? What action are you going to take in the future? And this one here, intention, this one here, is the one that is saying, explaining about how I find myself now, in which state I am right now. They sound the same, but this one is talking about how I find myself now, and this one here is talking about what are my actions, what are the actions that I'm going to take in the future. Hmm? So what is describing intention? Is describing the extension that that something that an object um, can hold within. So, as a simple example of the difference between in intention and intention, <laughs> so in English they they sound um, the same, but intention with s is, for example. What is the intention, the intention of the vegetal kingdom? The intention of the vegetal kingdom goes throughout all the plants, which means different trees, pines, algae, all that. So grass, that's the intention that accumulates the idea of the idea of um, the vegetal kingdom. And intention with T is what is the intention of the vegetal kingdom? Hmm? What is the intention of the vegetal kingdom? Is to do the photosynthesis, to create their food. That's the intention with T. What is the action of the vegetal kingdom to do the photosynthesis? So for a human, for example, the intention with S is describing, for example, me. What am I? The intention of what am I is I am a human. I am a, a mammal. Uh, I have an endocrine system, a bone system. I have a value system, I have beliefs, I have um, uh, certain uh, emotions, I have certain actions and aptitudes, okay? So those things that measure what I am is my intention with S. Those things, so what is the intention of this human being? Every human being has a different intention according to their will, their free will. So goals, desires, wishes, um, all the things that they want to do in the future, to create, to manifest in the future. That's the intention with T. Mm -hmm. Now, um, to understand this, intention with S is describing what am I inside? What do I have within? So all the aspects that makes me be who am I? Who I am, sorry. Um, so that's the intention. It's describing what is inside, what makes me be. And intention with T is the one that tells me what I'm going to push from the inside to the outside. So whatever I had within my intention will be intent to the outside by intention with T. Hmm? So this means that everything that we expect to happen outside depends on what do we have within. So this means that anything that is going to be outside can be by magic. Everything that's going to happen outside happens because I change it within. So now you might ask me, but 
that's obvious. That's um, uh, what you are saying is, is obvious. If I don't do something, nothing will happen outside. And I will say, yes, that's like this. That's obvious. But we have been living in this magical world expecting for things to happen just like magic. And it's not like this. Intention means to take action of what I have within to manifest it outside. It's like this, simple. What it means is that if I don't do any change within, nothing will happen to change outside. So this means that for more than I put the intention to do something outside, for something to happen outside, it won't happen if I didn't change within. So it's not about hope, it's about responsibility. So let's go to what do we have inside, within, which is the intention with S. Vale. <clears throat> so, what do we have within? Let's remember about the word tension, but not the tension that we usually say. The tension, meaning the extension of a human being. Hmm? Extension. When we speak about extension, it means through where it extend a human being. Hmm? So they have the same etymology. So extension means to go out, the, the expansion of something, hmm? that would be. So, for example, we have the extension in a human, a human being can be extended in a physical way, taking into account the biology, the cells, the molecules, and then the molecules has an extension of mag magnetism, which is the energy. So, they have also an extension of energetical patterns and then we have the the energy moves waves in the space uh magnetical waves so that creates the vibration so we have also an extension in vibration as a human being so when we speak about extension is how much it can expand one only human being okay from the physical the emotional, the, the energetical, and the uh, vibrational. Hmm? That's extension until where a being can expand. So what is intention? The intention is what is within that extension of the being. Until this being disappears as a being, what it has within, inside, okay? So we will simplify here this concept of the human. Here we have a human with a physical aspect, an energetical aspect, and vibrational aspect. So we can call the physical aspect the body, we can call um, the energetical um, aspect as the chakras, and we can call the vibrational aspect as the kundalini, the wave. Hmm? So these are the three aspects in which we can describe the intention of a being. So the intention will describe in which aspect my physical body finds itself, my soul, the energetical body, finds itself, and my vibration, the spirit, finds itself. Okay? So this means that the physical aspect, the energetical aspect, and the 
vibrational aspects are constantly in attention. Tension. So, what this means is that the physical, the energetical, and the vibrational are always in a tension. That means that are stretched, that are extended in the body. So, if one of these centers of energy or one of these vibrations are not coherent in between one another, they don't follow the same pattern, they are incoherent, that's the moment when we start to feel the tension. So this means that we are constantly in tension, all the time in tension, but we cannot notice that tension unless some of these aspects are incoherent or unbalanced with the other ones. So, in order to correct that, that imbalance, we have to identify the tension. This is like if each one of these chakras is a cord. Hmm? And here we have other cords. So imagine that each one of these chakras is connected with a cord and these waves too. So when you are playing the chords of the chakras, all of them will be in tension because without tension, you can't, the note cannot sound. So it's like, dun, 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 dun. they're good. But what happened with you do dun, 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 dun that you know now that there is one that is not in the right tension that you need to tune in order for it to sound properly. So as you see, the problem is not to feel the tension. The problem is that we are not rightly tuned in the right tension. And if we don't allow ourselves to just relax and to listen to where is the problem, we are not going to be able to understand where is the problem of tension. So now with this, we can understand the next, which is the intention. So what is the place of intention here? Well, first you have to remember that each one of these chakras is tuned in a certain level of vibration that goes out and manifests or call in the outside the things that are in the inside. So they are calling the same things in the same tune, the same harmony that we are and that's how we manifest in the outside so now what is the role of intention here that whatever you intend from one chakra will be projected in the outside so if we don't change or understand the problem of this chakra if you don't tune and harmonize this chakra, everything that comes with intention in the outside will be referred to the same vibration in which this chakra finds itself. Okay? This is why when we intention something, we have to know which tension we have. So now to the question, 
how can I understand if I am in tension or if I have any problem with these tensions? Well, here is your job because, um, of course, what we have uh, in our daily life um, is um, our conflicts, our struggles with the relationship with someone, um, the conflicts that we have in our daily life, those are the show, the, 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 the things that shows us where we have the tension. And from there, you have many different um, um, professionals that for sure can help you by from psychologists, uh, um, decodification, uh, therapies in many areas that can help you to figure out um, where do you have the problem, where do you have the tension. So to the how can we do it is the same as how can I understand it. Uh, each person is unique. Each person has their own ways to figure out um, uh, this because each person has a different vibration, a different energy, totally, completely different. So I cannot say like a manual to a handbook or that says, this is how you do it. But of course that um, the main thing to understand is that you have to be coherent. We must be coherent to understand where we have the problem or how to solve it. For example, myself. Myself these days, I was incoherent these days with myself. I, I wasn't coherent myself. That's why everything started to work wrong and everything ha uh, created problems and I was not feeling good, okay? So, um, so it's about to learn how to listen yourself, basically. So for some people to tune this is to change the food, for others to go to yoga, for others to do meditation, for others to go to the therapist. So find your own. So today in the alignment, we are going to set the intention, manifest the intention that we have in each one of the chakras so we can show in our lives what do we have within. Lives can show us what do we have within. The vibration for today is Ra. The statement for today is I am conscious wisdom. The code for today is Pegasus. The beautiful winged horse of Zeus is a creature of the animal world with the rights to walk and fly among gods. Represents the most emotional and inferior aspect turned into divinity, lightening the potential of the being, becoming the strength of the natural kingdom in clarity to the divine world. Sit comfortable. Close your eyes and concentrate in your breathing. I become aware of the space I find myself in, the body I find myself in, and in front of me, a light, a divine spark representing my soul. I ignite this spark with every breath.
and in its expansion I receive this light in my crown chakra. Breathe and allow yourself to perceive the emotions and colors in this crown chakra. And I say, I manifest the intention to expand my beliefs to the world. I descend this divine spark to my third eye. I allow myself to feel the colors and the emotions that move inside of my third eye. And I say to myself, I manifest the intention to expand my thoughts to the world. I descend this divine spark to my throat chakra. I allow myself to feel the colors and emotions of my throat chakra. And I say to myself, I manifest the intention to expand my truth to the world. I breathe and descend this divine spark to my heart. I allow myself to feel the colors and the emotions that move within my heart. And I say, I manifest the intention to expand my feelings to the world. I descend this divine spark 
to my plexus. I allow myself to feel the colors and emotions that move within my plexus. And I say, I manifest the intention to expand what I am to the world. I descend this divine spark to my sacrum chakra. I allow myself to feel the colors and the emotions that move within my sacrum. And I say, I manifest intention to expand what am I capable to do, to make into this world. I descend this divine spark to my root chakra. I allow myself to perceive, to feel the colors and emotions that move within my root chakra. And I say, I manifest intention to expand my fruits to the world. I descend this divine spark to my knees. And I allow myself to perceive the colors and emotions that move through my knees. And so I say, I manifest intention to expand my story to the world.
I descend this divine spark to my feet. allow myself to perceive and feel the colors and emotions that move through my feet chakra. And I say, I manifest intention to expand my path to the world. manifest intention to resound in the perfect tension. I am the conscious wisdom. I am the conscious wisdom. I am the conscious wisdom. I am. I am. I am. Take a deep breath and start to expand this consciousness all around your body, stretching and yawning. And each one at its own time, come back here and now. Thank you everybody for being here as always and see you tomorrow at the same time.